You may have heard the ads from the public servants saying, we want a 3% increase. Well, that's not all. Jay Goldberg is with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. It's their job to find out what's going on with that. And he joins me because I want to find out what's going on. Let's just talk about the increase in the public service between 2015, when Justin became prime minister, and now. What's the story? So originally you were looking at 260,000 members of the uh, you know, federal government. Right. We're now up to 335,000. That's like a 33% increase over the Trudeau government's tenure. And I have to ask, is the government 33% more effective than it was <laughs> at that time? I don't ask think anybody so. trying to get a passport or trying to do anything with the government. I'm in a big line for a passport. I'll tell you, the passport office is not working 33% better than it was seven years ago. So, I mean, there's one thing about maybe there's so many civil servants that are falling over each other, um, but also the cost of it, but also what are they doing? Are a lot of them there to watch you and I watch the show and tell somebody not to watch it? It's a very good question. I'd love to know, but it's costing taxpayers $55 billion a year to pay these people. And, wow. you know. Well, so let's just go back to the ads because I, I did some research and they're saying, they want a 3% increase, but they also want to work at, at home. The leader said, we want to work at home unless you can tell us convincingly why we should go to the office. And then when we're at home, we want to be paid for the sandwiches we make. It's obscene. <laughs> it's obscene. Nowhere in the private sector could you be asking for anywhere near that and still have a job. You would not see that. Well, yeah, well exactly that. I mean, people working in grocery stores, delivering anything, and the costs are all going up, but they aren't getting an increase. No, look, inflation is soaring, and most people are happy with a one, two, three, four at the most percent oh, yeah. increase in their pay. And these people are asking for three times that. It's obscene. So why is the government adding all these people on? I mean, are, is the Tax Producer Federation the only organization that's holding them to account? Like, why are you just, ah, just, just hiring like crazy? They're hiring like crazy. We're certainly there to call them out on that. But a 33% increase, we're not seeing any more effectiveness. In fact, it's less effective. It is less effective because there are more people doing smaller jobs. But I'm wondering then, is this a real case of the Trudeau paid media? And we don't hear about this in the mainstream media because Trudeau is paying their salaries. That's a very good question. But you know, this affects the employment numbers as well. When you have so, tens of thousands of more people working for the government, it looks like the unemployment rate is lower, but we're filling all these jobs with people working for the government, paid for by you and me, the taxpayer. We're gonna run out of people to pay those bills <laughs> if they're all on the government payroll. It's like the NDP saying, elect us, and we'll have low unemployment because they're going to hire all the NDPers to work for the government. <laughs> Jay, thank you very, very much. It is really distressing, although one of the producers now is shaking his head at me saying, the NDP doesn't do that. Yes, they do. Three minutes. The Trudeau subsidized media cannot engage you in the discussions. They can't even present the discussions that we do here in this channel, which are critical to the health and future of Canada. So to help us keep broadcasting, please contribute financially. The address is below. You can write a check, PayPal, and please subscribe.